Now, one thing I've learned over the years is that you cannot assume the oxygen level of an aquarium by looking at the aquarium. So looking at this aquarium, I would assume it had very good oxygen levels, but if you ever find that your KH is okay and your pH is a bit low, then it's worth testing your oxygen. JBL's got a very simple test that you can do and just find out what your oxygen level is. And if you do find your oxygen levels a little bit low, you'll find that you may have some issues with your pH because um, your pH will tend to be lower if your oxygen level is not correct. Now, the things you can do to increase your, your oxygen is make sure you've got good surface agitation, make sure you've got a good skimmer. But if you think that's already the case, then trying to open the door more often. So windows and doors, so you're getting more oxygen into the environment helps. Other people um, run the inlet to their skimmer to the outside, so therefore they're actually sucking um, good high oxygen air in from outside. And then you can also put an ozonizer on the inlet to the skimmer, and the ozonizer will increase the oxygen level of the water, also increase your redox potential, and you may find that um, the aquarium runs a whole lot better once you get the oxygen level to at least eight. Um, this one's currently running at four, which isn't really ideal, and you may have trouble stabilizing your pH if your oxygen level is only eight. And if you do have an oxygen level of eight, over a long period of time, you are likely to experience issues, particularly with your corals.